in the last video we created uh, the sign up table inside the database inside PHP my admin now what we're going to do is we're going to create the file and the script that will enable us insert data from this form into the database so let's go back into our project then we need to create the file called insert.php because that is the name we gave it here inside the Ajax method that we created so inside our script right click new form they will type insert.php insert.php so what we are going to do here is we are going to write the script that will insert the data so the first thing that we need to do is we need to add the php tags so we add the tags php then the next thing we need to do remember inside our config folder we have the db.php there we created a um, variable called connection which holds the mysql connection so we are whenever wherever we are going to be calling this file we are going we will be needing this connection and we'll set it to global so inside the php file we set that connection variable to global because we'll be needing it for the connection then the next thing we need to do we create some variables and set it to empty we can call f underscore name equals uh, l underscore name to signify to hold the firm first name the last name email and we can create this for password and set them to empty after doing this then we need to check if the uh, post request because if we go to our sign up form we can recall that the form that we created has a method of post now we, we want to check that if we click on this button of type submit we want to check if this method of post is set and we do that in php using the is set method so we go and say if is set that is the post request is set and it takes a parameter of submit which is the name of the button this submit here is the same as the name of the button that we have here so if we go back so if it sets the post with name submit then we are going to write our codes inside of this if statement so the next thing we need to do now is we need to get the values from the input field we get the values using the post super global so we create a variable to hold the values so we see first name equal to dollar sign underscore post and it's going to take in the name of the input field in this case for first name we give it the name of in first name as well so the same for last name using the post super global the name we gave it was last name then for email for email for email it's going to take the argument email and lastly pass we can call it pass underscore word and it takes in password now we should note that these names that we have inside this post super globals are the names we gave to 
each of the input fields from email we give email first name last name password that's how we are using this we are using this to get the values from the input field then store them inside this variable next we need to check if a user with this email already exists so if it already exists the user will not be able to register so what we do is we create a mysql query we can call it sql underscore query and to write a mysql query we can do it in just one line we use my sql i underscore query and it takes in two parameters the first is going to be the connection and it is this global connection that we created here and it's gotten from the db.php file so it's going to take the connection then the next thing is it will take the query and the query that we want to create is say select all select all from the table we called it was sign up so it's going to select all from sign up the condition we are giving it is via email this email is the column inside the database where email is equal to this email that the user is inserting in this case it's also email then we close it with the semicolon and we can place it puts quotes to show that we are returning strings we're checking for strings so we have this then the next thing we need to do is we need to count the um, table to find if the data already exists and we can count to return a, a value an integer if it returns zero that means the there are no values with uh, no data with that email that already exists otherwise if it returns anything greater than zero that means an email already exists so we use create a variable and call it counts then we use the mysql method called mysql i underscore norm underscore rows now what this does is it counts the rows based on this condition if it founds or it finds something that matches then it's going to return one otherwise it's going to return zero so and we're going to pass in the sql query that we created so in the next video we'll continue with creating the php code inside the script